Attend free yoga in the garden at the Somerville Community Growing Center in Union Square on two dates in August. Saturday, August 17th from 10 to 11 a.m. led by Michelle Leonetti or family yoga on Monday, August 19th from 5 to 6 led by Jean Falk. Also at the Growing Center is their song series this summer. Thursday, August 15th, come by with, at 5 with your picnic basket and stay for Boston-based duo Anna Borges and Bill Ward who make up Resetia de Samba duo and their Brazilian classic samba beginning at 6 going through 7.30 p.m. On Saturday, August 24th, from 2 to 3.30, listen to a mix of Celtic jigs and reels, shanties, and New England historical songs as the Gloucester Hornpipe and Clock Society take stage. All ages are welcome. Way out on September 19th, it, from 5 to 7, is the local women's Brazilian percussion ensemble, Shiboom, which will rock the garden. After the show, join Shiboom for a drumming circle. For information about more events at the Somerville Community Growing Center, visit thegrowingcenter.org. All the kids are improving these days. No, wait, that's improving. If you want to give in to the lure of improv, attend Intro to Improv on Friday, August 23rd from 7 to 10 p.m., led by Bill DeRusha, with our friends over at Theatre at First at Unity Somerville, just outside of Davis Square. It's a chance to practice your improv chops, learn some new skills, and spend an evening playing with other theatre folk. It's free with a suggested donation of $10, and more info can be found at theateratfirst.org. On Thursday, September 19th, Somerville Media Center hosts Draw Night at Winter Hill Brewery from 7 to 9 p.m. Comics artist and SMC programming coordinator Dave Ortega, wait, that's that's me, I'm doing this? Uh, I'll host a Chill Vibes event where folks get together and draw in the same space, working on whatever they choose. A portion of proceeds of uh, beer sales will go to us here at Somerville Media Center. We'll have simple supplies like pens and paper and pencils and erasers and markers if you're in need. Work on your own stuff or use one of our prompts. We will have prompts so we're happy to give you points in the right direction if you want to learn how to draw 21 plus obs and uh, you can register at somervillemedia.org have you been to vox pop powered by somerville media center in assembly row well you only have a few more weeks before our beloved summer pop-up is no more so get out to these events vox pop presents the cask of amontillado presented by the post meridian radio players on friday august 23rd from 7 to 8 30 p.m the post meridian radio players will be reprising their original adaptation of the cask of amontillado Naomi Ivasidas will be directing Mayor Fried's adaptation, which transplants Poe's classic tale to the Roaring Twenties. Fried originally directed her own adaptation for the troupe as part of Tomes of Terror, Nevermore, in 2014, and Ivasidas first directed it as part of Fort Point Theater Channel's Senses series on Halloween night in 2018. So go see the Vox Pop version on the 23rd, why don't you? Somerville's own <laughs> member comedy troupe Flotilla hosts their final comedy night, Your Terrible Ex, at Vox Pop on Thursday, the 23rd at 7 p.m. So come watch a fully improvised show inspired by Terrible Ex stories. Daffy will talk with the audience about some of their worst exes, how it began, how it ended, and then using these stories as inspiration will create a whole new world and a whole new show each time. The Somerville Media Center Youth Film Showcase will take place at the Somerville Community Growing Center Thursday, August 15th from 6 to 8 at the Growing Center. Be amazed by the short films, TV productions, animations, audio productions, and other media created here at our summer media camps over the past few weeks. We're super proud of this youth and you should come out and support them. For more information about Vox Pop events or events here at Somerville Media Center, visit us at somervillemedia.org. On to library events of note. Drop in knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting takes place at the Central Library weekly on Wednesdays from noon to two. This is an opportunity for adult knitters, crocheters, needle pointers, and sewers to come together for a conversation and crafting. Instruction is not provided, but hey, socialization is. The SPL Supper Club takes place Monday, August 26th from seven to nine at Remnant Brewing 2 Beaumarket Way. The SPL Supper Club is a cookbook book club that meets on the last Monday of each month. The group has a potluck dinner party at Remnant Brewing and it celebrates the cookbook of the month. Pick a dish to make and share. 
The August selection is Six Seasons, A New Way with Vegetables by Joshua McFadden. Copies are available at all the SPL locations. Sign up and find more information at somervillepubliclibrary.org. The East Somerville Foodie Crawl is back for its ninth edition with diverse restaurants, a beer garden featuring Aeronaut and Small Change Breweries, and live entertainment. On September 17th, take a cultural crawl through the East Somerville Restaurant Corridor. With the purchase of one ticket, you'll be off on a culinary journey full of authentic foods, colors and smells from Ethiopia, El Salvador, Italy, Brazil, and Mexico. Your ticket will give you unlimited access to sample East Somerville's best restaurants. That's the East Somerville Foodie Crawl, Tuesday, September 17th, rain date of the 18th. Food will be served from 6 to 8.30 p.m. The beer garden is going to be open till 10, though. So, and for tickets, you should go to eastsomervillemainstreets.org. In Gretchen Graham's Unsee This black and white film photographs are not only what they seem at first glance. Like events unfolding in dreams or images seen in clouds, the photographs in this show require interpretation to reveal the latent images, the metallic sand of Block Island, footsteps in the snow, and water stains on the MBTA subway walls all reveal hidden shapes and figures. On view August 9th through August 31st, Saturdays from noon to 4 p.m. at the Washington Street Arts Center. More information is at washingtonst.org. The seventh annual Toy Camera Fest is a citywide celebration of toy and lo-fi photography with exhibits and events at three galleries, Brick Bottom Gallery, Nave Gallery, and Washington Street Art Center. These outstanding exhibitions will feature work from international artists. Details about the show will emerge closer to the kickoff date, which is September 5th. So you can visit somervilletoycamera.org. Enjoy live Greek music each night and the tastiest Greek food this side of the Atlantic at the Somerville Greek Festival at the Dormition of the Virgin Mary Greek Orthodox Church taking place September 6th through 8th starting at noon each of those days. The Orpheus Band performs Friday and Saturday and the Olympians Band will perform on Sunday. A portion of proceeds are going to the church's building fund and more information can be found at dormissionchurch.org. The 10th annual Somerville Dog Festival is a citywide community event to celebrate dogs and the families who love them. This year, the Somerville Foundation for Animals, is a 501c3 nonprofit, is partnering with Mass Vet Referral Hospital to proudly host the festival with 100% of the proceeds benefiting local animal-related charities. The event is at Trumfield on Sunday, September 8th at 11 a.m. 